You have 15 seconds to make an impression on your customer or client. That is how quickly we decide in the subconscious whether we like or dislike a brand, whether we're going to keep watching, paying attention, and possibly do business with that brand. 95% of purchase decisions happen in the subconscious. Brands live in the subconscious. If you think of brands that you like, can you actually explain what it is about them that you really like? It might take a little while to come up with those reasons, but you just know and feel the ones that you like, the ones that you're willing to put a bumper sticker on your car for or even get a tattoo for. And one of the reasons that people dislike a brand or don't trust a brand or just cut and run from a website experience or social media post is when that brand is inconsistent because we are hardwired to identify inconsistencies because those make us distrustful. If you're not consistent in your messaging, if you're not consistent in your look and feel and your sound and your stance, your beliefs, your values as a brand across channels, you will not be able to engender trust and those people subconsciously will be very turned off by your brand. Now remember, brand is not just your logo, your look and feel, your color palette or your font. It's so much more than that. It's really a more holistic and foundational strategy and approach to everything that you offer, your products and services, what you stand for, what it is and who it's for at the crux. And that needs to be presented consistently across all channels. Social media is a really important one because this happens in real time. This is a primary place where people will go and quickly judge you. And you can see so many brands that have had PR crisis fails on social media, mainly because they weren't being consistent and people will call that out fast. This is cancel culture. So you have to be careful with that. Social media is very important for your brand. Do not just assign it to an intern or some junior marketing person that has no experience because you assume, well, I guess they spend a lot of time on Snapchat, so they're going to know how to tweet. That's not the way it works. If you'd like more advice on marketing, branding, and strategy, you can always book a consultation with me at emilybender.com slash call. Until then, subscribe here for more marketing tips and our podcast, which comes out every other Monday, where we interview experts in business, technology, voice, and all things marketing. Of course I would have done that. Like, why wouldn't you? 